Let's turn now to Vincent Reinhardt to talk more about inflation and why we're not seeing it in the U.S. economy right now. He is the chief economist and macro strategist at Mellon. Welcome. Nice to have you here. Thanks for having me. You know, we haven't had inflation, meaningful inflation, in this economy for quite a few years now, despite expectations that after the 2008 financial crisis and when the Fed started to exit uh, its, its support package, we would see rampant inflation. Why have we not seen it? Two parts. One is when the Fed made its balance sheet big and created a lot of reserves, banks didn't use those reserves at first because they were capital constrained. They were under a lot of pressure. Then as the Fed started raising rates, it also increased the rate it pays on reserves so banks didn't have any reason to use the reserves. And the second part is we had a tough financial crisis, but most of our trading partners had worse ones and the dollar has been appreciating. When the dollar appreciates, it means that foreign goods coming into the U.S. are cheaper, and that's been pulling down our inflation. You know, also the economy has changed so dramatically in, say, the last 10 to 15 years, but we're still measuring inflation by kind of old metrics. Are we looking at inflation and how to measure it in an antiquated way? Answer to the question, are data mismeasured, is always yes. <laughs> uh, and you're right. You know, 40 years ago, manufacturing was closer to a third of, of what we do. Now it's, it's much, much less, uh, more like not 8 or 9%. Uh, a lot of our, our, the stuff we consume are services. Those prices don't move all that fast, and they also don't get set, reset very often. Uh, so yes, we have some problems in measurement. We also have a terrible pr problem in understanding the quality of what we uh, consume same price you pay for, for a better good actually means inflation is going down. Mm -hmm. But you are under the expectation that we will see a slight resurgence in inflation, correct? I think Fed Chair Jay Powell's right. Some of it is idiosyncratic, one-off things that you observe when inflation is so low. But we also think that the unemployment rate is putting pressure on resources, and so costs will go up. And when costs go up, they'll get passed through to domestic prices. And if the dollar doesn't appreciate, we won't get that foreign drag on our domestic inflation. All right. On that note, Vincent Reinhardt with Mellon, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.